Hi, in this video I am going to give you one of the solution from Power BI report server. Let's take a scenario, you have developed a report in Power BI uh, desktop and published to Power BI server. So which is on premises based one. So if you want to change the connection string or data source connection string, what you usually do, you can open that report again in the Power BI desktop and can change the connection there, uh, connection in the sense like uh, if you are using any SQL Server databases, uh, if you want to modify that databases into a, another database, you can do within Power BI Desktop and you can publish it again, right? So that's a usual procedure that we usually do. So how we can automate that? So we don't want to open that report again in the Power BI Desktop and uh, no need to publish it again. So if we have an approach like uh, we can directly uh, change the connection string within the Power BI report server portal itself. So let me show you how this is possible. So here you can see I have a report called uh, points direct query. So direct query based on uh, Power BI report. So uh, if I go to manage, uh, let me show you what is the data source uh, used for this report. As you can see, this is a uh, SQL server. So type is SQL and uh, the data source is uh, my local uh, SQL server. And then database is it underscore dev and then uh, security info for so this is uh, this is the place where we have to give in the credentials so uh, again we don't have an option to change the uh, data source connection string here but uh, we can change it with the help of power bi report server rest apis so let me show you how does it, that is possible with the rest apis so before that let me show you the data uh, report uh, within Power BI report server and uh, show you the data so that you can easily compare the results right uh, here you can see uh, I just have a simple pie chart with the values like A, B, C, D, E uh, so these uh, values are coming from IT underscore dev database so we are going to change the connection string to IT underscore prod database again the values are uh, going to change so I'm not going to open this report in Power BI desktop and I'm not going to modify anything on the report server. I'm going to use a, a tool called Postman where I'm going to access Power BI report server REST APIs. So if you are new to Power BI report server REST APIs, uh, let me show you. So Microsoft uh, Power BI team providing a REST APIs for Power BI report server uh, version 2.0. So if you go through this link, let me share this link in the description of this video. You can go through that. Here you can see uh, we have a lot of sections because power bi reports are not just uh, specific for power bi reports still you can publish uh, kpis uh, mobile reports regular page generated reports and also you can maintain data sources uh, shared data sets excel works, excel workbooks so there are a lot of uh, options are there within power bi report server so our intention is to change the data source so just go to uh, power bi uh, reports section so this is mobile reports here Power BI reports. So under Power BI reports here you can see we have lot of uh, REST API methods are there. For each uh, section we have two different or uh, three different methods. If you see here, uh, uh, if you want to see the list of Power BI reports, we need to use this uh, particular URL. We have get method, we have post method, we have again uh, get method for other, other set of uh, URLs. So I'm going to show you one of the URL is uh, get Power BI reports. So I just click this Power BI, uh, Power BI reports, which will open uh, a window in the right hand side. So here you can see uh, get Power BI reports. So here uh, you can see these are the uh, strings which you can pass it in, into the uh, URL. And uh, so here let me, initially it will be like this. Uh, so you need to click uh, try it out. So which will uh, generate an URL. So if I go here you can see. So this is a request URL that I need to use it. So if you are using any other application which supports curl, see URL and you can pass this URL. So since I'm going to use uh, Power, uh, sorry, Postman, I'm going to use this URL. Also, if you are uh, familiar with PowerShell scripts, still you can uh, uh, use invoke uh, web request method and you can use this URL. Right. So I'm going to use uh, Postman. So I just downloaded and installed Postman. So it's an easy tool to access the uh, REST APIs. 
so you can create a collection so i have created a collection underneath i can i can start uh, 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 requesting different methods right so i'm going to create a new method by clicking this so here i'm going to choose uh, any of the method so i'm going to go with uh, uh, get method i'm going to pass that url so here uh, since i have hosted uh, this report server on my local host either i can pass my uh, machine name hari hyphen pc or local host so that is what here so if you have hosted on your uh, domain server you can specify that uh, server name uh, that report power bi report server name and then followed with the reports api uh, v2.0 then power bi reports since it is a get method you still can access this uh, in browser itself so you cannot uh, access other methods in your browser but you can access the get get method in your browser itself so when i uh, when i uh, execute this it is producing this uh, set of uh, scripts as a, as a result so these are nothing but uh, uh, report uh, properties or report information here you can see this is the id for this report so as you can see i have three different reports uh, in my server pbi rs points and points direct query so it is showing all the three uh, reports with additional information like id id and path uh, report power bi report also few other informations so here uh, we are working with uh, this particular report uh, points direct queue so we need to capture this particular id so this is the id of that particular report so here in rest apis we are uh, processing each individual objects with their id all right so we have gone through this uh, particular uh, method so let me show you how to process here in postman so i have written an article about uh, like uh, how to use postman for this particular power bi report server i will give you the link in the description please go through that so once you have added the url uh, go to authorization uh since uh, since this is the url from our uh, local machine so we have to make a connectivity like connectivity in the sense we have to give a credentials right so that this postman tool will identify this uh, particular report server objects go to type and choose ntlm authentication beta and here you need to pass your uh, system username and password since this is my personal workstation and system name so if it is a domain controller uh, based uh, system like in your organization uh, if you are trying to uh, check it out you need to give your domain name here and then uh, that's it you just click uh, send button and uh, which will give you the results here you can see a status is 200 which is successfully completed you can see the same results uh, let me scroll a bit here you can see you can see the same same results as you saw in the uh, uh, browser so here it is aligned properly so here you can see uh, this is a report that we are going to uh, process and this is a report id so we need to get this uh, report id and then the next step is uh, the uh, main step is uh, we are going to change the data source right so scroll scroll on this uh, power bi report section and you can identify a uh, method called uh, this one uh, power bi reports id uh, data sources this, which is patch method so if you want to modify you need to go to uh, this patch method if you want to see what is the data source used on that report you can go to get method so i'm going to use this get method so again i'm going to choose this uh, on the right hand side uh, this uh, it will show that uh, specific uh, uh, selected method here you can see again you can give, uh, click try it out it will generate the uh, link that uh, url and also the other information you can go through that so i have already captured that url here you can see uh, this is a url that i have captured from that uh, st api uh, swagger file swagger uh, website and uh, here if you see uh, we need to pass the uh, id within that bracket all right so i have already captured the id from this place so this is the id which i have captured and i am placing that id here on that url within uh, open and close bracket slash data sources so if i click send again i have configured authorization uh, i am going to click send it is going to show me the list of uh, uh the list uh, information about the data source used on that report so actually uh, this is report uh, sorry this report is based on the direct query uh, uh mode uh, based report so you can see all the information here uh, 
so direct query based and uh, what kind of a data source it is a SQL server data source and what is the data source name my local server and what is the uh, database name so all the information will, will be available here you can check it out and we are going to make use of this information so we go we identify the uh, available data source for that report so our intention is to modify the data source so instead of showing it underscore dev we are going to show uh, sorry we are going to uh, change into it underscore prod so let me show you again uh, so in it underscore dev we have uh, values like a b c d e so once i change the values will be changing so let it load uh, here you can see so we are going to change it so again i'm going back to the swagger hub and here you can see patch method so uh, the url is same we are going to change the method into patch so when i select this it is going to give you the same uh, information but uh, uh, we need to consider uh, one additional information here you can see we need to send the body so we need to uh, we need to uh, add this uh, information on the body of that uh, method all right so we no need to worry about these things because uh, once you uh, run this get method it is generating this uh, information right you just copy paste this value section alone and we are going to use it uh, in the uh, patch method so i am under i am under patch method here the url is same as in uh, get method i am just changing the method into patch so when i say patch we are going to modify the data sources right so we need to give some input so under body section uh, you need to pass that url sorry uh, that whole script which i copied from this get method uh, so here everything is same except the uh, database so we are going to change the database it underscore prod and then uh, as it is other uh, information like uh, here if you are if you are using a different server try to change it with a uh, different server since i have a database on the same server i am not changing the server name here and then uh, here i need to pass my uh, uh, username and the secret the credential password so i'm going to enter my password and that's it so we no need to modify anything so we are going to keep as it is direct query sql and then uh, click send so, uh, so we just requested and here you can see status 200 uh, which means we, it is successfully uh, applied or changed so i'm going back to the uh, report and i'm going to home and then i'm going to show you that uh, data source go to manage data sources here you can see it underscore prod so it, initially it was it underscore dev now it has changed uh, with the help of that postman rest apis so let us open that report so we should see some other uh, values so we should not see a b c d because i'm I'm, I'm having a different value on the uh, prod database here you can see we have pqrs so it has totally changed so we confirm that uh, this uh, this rest api has changed the uh, database so this is how you can change the uh, connection sync dynamically or with the help of any other uh, tools which supports rest api and you can easily convert the connection string into a different uh, server name or different database so without uh, without opening the report uh, in the power bi desktop and uh, one more information so as of now this particular uh, uh, changing the data source connection string is possible only with the power bi with uh, direct query mode so if you are using power bi import mode uh, so this particular uh, setup or this particular uh, feature is not supported yet so it will change the data source but in, uh, in in import mode you need to set up a schedule refresh right so since it's a direct query it is directly fetching from the database so if you use the same rest api for import it will change the data source but the data uh, within that report will not be changed so you will be getting an error message so uh, uh, microsoft power bi team is working on that so probably we can expect that uh, uh, in next uh, next release or the to next release for uh, import mode so please leave your comments if you have any queries uh, and uh, check my uh, blog uh, i have given the link in the description please subscribe my channel for more videos thank you